Good morning, everybody. We're on electrical again. So anyway, right up here, I'm going to get this box put in there and have it put up there. So that way I can finally start insulating my walls. Get that heat in and the cold out. We've been having, oh, chilly mornings, very foggy. But the rain's coming again, so I don't know what that means. It's just going to be flat out cold or what. But I like it in here. I have my heater installed now. And I don't know, it's just great. So anyway, instead of rambling on, let's get her done. So I have it installed, put the caulking around it so I could hide all the ugly. And the light is big enough, it's going to go over that anyway. But in the spring i'll probably touch that up maybe because i like to have paint over the caulking so anyway now i think i can go ahead and start insulating the walls okay i got my porch light wire in that's all ready to go and now I'm going to start doing the insulation in my walls to try to hold some more heat in here. This on the ceiling was excellent. It stays warmer so much longer, but obviously it's going to go right through the wood, even though the wood is an insulator, but it's not that good of an insulator. So let's get her done, or who knows, maybe it's the next video. So here we are again, working on the Washington room. I have everything insulated in here, pretty much, but I'm gonna have to do one step further. I have the cement block I put in, and that just radiates the cold right on through, so I plan on putting styrofoam in. It's a two inch, I think they recommend four inch. At least I'm covering it, so I'm doing two inch only. And first I have to put a board, a two by, all the way around the bottom. So that way, after I have the styrofoam up, I can sheetrock, or I can put wood along it, or whatever I decide to do. So, let's get at her. I'm getting ready, cleaning up. Look at that spider. From that big long foot to the back, I would say that's about three inches. Let me see, where's my tape measure? Hold on a minute. There you go. That three inch frickin' spider right there. So realistically I should, I guess, shoot him with my gun. Yep. Okay, let me set this up on a tripod and let's see what happens. Oh, there he goes. He's hiding. Hell, I know about ballpark where he is. So, there's his feet. He can't hide very well because he's so big. You see that? See that moisture on the wall? Was that there before or is that him? Yeah, he looks safe now. 
So anyway, that's part of my fun with my bug salt. It uses salt, table salt. You fill that up. You cock it. It's got a safety here that when it uh, has been cocked, the safety will stay dead. Oh, there. It stays right there. Right now I can shoot it in because it isn't going to do nothing. Well, I guess it will. Now it won't do anything. I had it loaded just in case I needed to shoot again. Yeah. Or like some people say, yeah, boy. Of course I do this. <laughs> okay, so anyway, after I clean up the spider mess and the wood out of there, I'm gonna measure that. I have two by, one by twos, or I should say they're, they're, they call them a two by four. We cut it down to two inches and a quarter and I plan on connecting that to the wall so that way I can run sheetrock have something to screw to come up and screw to the board above or however I decide to do it I'm not sure that I have two inches no nope. I have almost an inch and a half so this here board, I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm going to be coming up and coming across this way. And so I'll have an air gap in here, which I'm going to probably be spraying foam along here. So that way I can seal if there are any drafts. So let me get at her. Let's use a little liquid nail. I hate this gun. Did I ever tell you guys that? 